What's up everybody, welcome to Podcast Now, I'm Alex, and in this video I want to talk about the review scores for Resident Evil 4 Remake, and they are extremely, extremely high. Now this doesn't change what my kind of motto on this channel is, if you've watched uh, other videos of mine, make your own decision, right, that's one of the main things I say on this channel, look at the reviews, take it in, but ultimately I would say make the decision based off of what you yourself has seen not necessarily on the numbers. However, if you are into the numbers and you are into, hey, let's let these reviews decide for me, the reviews are incredible. Just a few points back of the original. This is, I believe, the third highest Resident Evil score of all time. Code Veronica, I think, was a 94 or 95, and I know Resident Evil 4, the original, was 96. This right now is a 93 based off 90 critic reviews there's still more to come there's actually if you go on metacritic there's several of them i think like five or six that haven't given scores yet and they sound like if you read the review in progress they sound like pretty high so i don't you know in order to keep it at a 93 or move higher you're gonna have to have them be you know nine and a half or tens but overwhelmingly this game is getting praised there's probably more perfect scores or more 10 out of tens than any other score plenty of nine and a halfs plenty of nines and then once you get down really the two lowest scores are both sevens one of them even being from dual shockers which i really like that website so you know again take these scores and do whatever you you personally you know want with them one thing i want to throw in is actually it seems like the criteria or what they were allowed to say versus not say so a lot of what they were allowed to show had to actually be what we've already seen so if you're watching a lot of these reviews and you're saying hey where why is it all i guess what we've seen over the last couple of months why isn't it new stuff from a couple different places that i personally watch like acg's review a couple others as well they throw in there that not just what they're allowed to show is very limited and most of it is just b-roll but also what they're allowed to say about it is also limited so they're really not allowed to get into more of the spoilers so i've seen people try to like dance around it because when you have those comparisons right i think that's a big deal to a lot of people that played the original game to this game is what exactly right cut scenes dialogue what exactly did they keep exactly the same and what did they change and it seems like from what i can tell and you guys can let me know in the comments or let each other know in the comments it seems like a lot of that stuff they really can't say i've seen some people list off like the boss fights that are you know in line with it but i think you can actually get a lot of those through the trophy listings or achievement listings of the game as well so i think right now you kind of have to take them at least this is just my opinion seems like you have to take them at their word when they say, you know, okay, it's it's in line with the original, right? There's some changes. I've seen a lot of people talk about the gameplay changes, the knife being like the number one thing, stealth mechanics. Those are probably the top two that I've seen individual reviews kind of single out. But going into that more nitty gritty of, you know, again, what exactly has changed and if it's if it's a line of dialogue, if it's a specific cutscene, if it's whatever, a lot of these places aren't saying it. And not because you know they don't want to but because they can't and then what i've seen to notice at least from these reviews right the higher you go, i mean this probably is obvious the higher you go the more i feel like in line they feel this remake is to the original right that this is not just the perfect game that re4 was but then they kind of enhanced it even more for a quote unquote like a modern audience right so the higher you go it's more of that the lower you go it tends to be some of these changes maybe it's gameplay changes some of them that have been changed don't do it as well like change itself isn't as good as the original thing back in the original game which to be honest i'm i'm fine with it right if that's what your score is going off of when you're reviewing a remake that's kind of my criteria at least right i'd say judge the base game like the game that it used to be and then you have to judge how it brought that game into the year that you're in now not necessarily the whole modern audience thing right that's kind of like a kiss of death when it comes to hollywood movies and all that stuff but how did you enhance it and make it something that if you're playing it for the first time in 2023 how is it playing it but also i think you have to kind of judge it on what it was because it should be basically the same game in terms of the story, the characters, all that stuff. It should be the same thing. So I honestly don't have a problem with the different reviews. It seems like it's just literally opinion. Again, the higher you go, the more that the changes they say enhanced it. And then the lower you go into the eights, into the seven and a halfs, 
the base game is still just what it was, but then the changes or the enhancements that they made didn't actually enhance it. It actually weakened it. That seems to be, to me, the split that we have here with the reviews. Again, make your own decision. I don't know who's going to be swayed with these reviews to buy the game or not buy the game. I think a lot of people have already made up their mind, and probably rightly so. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're all subscribed, bell icon turned on. I will be playing it. I'll have a review on my channel as quickly as I can, and I hope to see you all on the next one.